morning folks I am in the belly of the beast again nothing too dramatic uh, just gonna do a quick service uh, it was March when I last did one and we are nearly at the end of August now so it's been about five or six months uh, I have crept over the 250 hours mark a little bit uh, but I'm not going to worry too much about that because I'm in the bowels of the beast and I'm going to do it now so I've got everything I need I've got three filters there air, fuel and lubricant filter I've got a brand new tub of oil I've got a gripper I've got a homemade funnel and there's a bit of red diesel in the tin there so we're laughing so we'll get that done I'm not going to video it all again because I videoed it in March if you want to see a, fool, make, a fat bloke make a fool of himself doing an engine service then go look back at the one I did in March uh, but I will sort of like chat along the way if I can unless I get too stuck in this hole and I can't get out so let's crack on and first things first let's whip the oil filter not the oil, the air filter and get that sorted that's it folk engine service done didn't bother videoing it because you've seen it before uh, but yeah done another six months so it's August September, October, November, December January probably do it January uh, depends on how the winter goes so yeah so I might just uh, sit here now for a bit uh, might get the washing machine out who knows uh, but we'll see we'll be cracking on to Middlewich today tomorrow the day after, who knows? Who cares?
still got since making those videos i think i've made another another three so by the time you get to see this one you'll have gone what's mike talking about he's not giving up at all <laughs> so well that's just the lag of vlogging and the lag of vlogging has helped me a little bit really because i've always had a stock of videos to upload one a week and because you only upload one a week and you may take enough footage in a week to do three or four videos uh, because of that you fall behind but that's good because it has allowed me to have a little wobble and a little moment and still have footage to upload so the biggest thing i need to get over now is editing uh, i need to just get back into the editing zone which is quite difficult at the moment for me because my computer is basically a load of gas uh, it's slow, it crashes, it takes forever to do anything. The software on it's fine, uh, but it's just that's a computer, the processing power of it isn't that great. I mean, I think it's 11 years old, the computer. So, you know, to be fair to it, to get it to do anything. Uh, it's like asking a kid to do the washing up. So that's really my biggest problem now is at the moment is editing. Uh, although I have just finished another video last night and I've just got to format it into uh, the correct format to upload to YouTube so yeah I'm persevering I'm still here I'm still at it uh, we're in September now and I'm just gonna take a couple of weeks off work and go somewhere not quite sure where yet but you'll be the first to find out when I do everybody but uh, what I'll do 
uh, later on this evening or tomorrow morning before I set off I will just check under the uh, under the boards just to make sure there's no oil floating around anywhere uh, that the oil filter that I screwed on has stayed screwed on uh, the vibration of the engine does tend to unscrew them sometimes so that's why you've got to you can't just put them on hand tight you've got to put them hand tight and then a quarter turn uh, so but I'll just make sure that that's not vibrating itself off it never has uh, so hopefully it never will I found a picture we took many years ago when I said to you we would never grow messages I've saved that I never send cause I don't know you but I used to back then I remember that I was drunk out my mind when we for the first time In the back of your car We passed out counting stars Promised all these years We pack our things and disappear And that's the time I would see you We're on a stretch of canal between Northwich and Middlewich basically uh, Once you get past uh, Like the outskirts of Northwich And the big salt faction and all that It is actually a very pretty Stretch of canal uh, and I'm heading towards Bramble Cuttings now and I was going to go sail past to be honest with you but to be honest with you it's such a nice day and I've not stayed at Bramble Cuttings probably since the winter so if there's a space I'll probably pull over and stay for a night at Bramble Cuttings uh, only because it's so pretty and you know I'm in no major rush to get anywhere so yeah I'll stay at Bramble Cuttings if there's space but yeah just look at this you know what I mean? You can't get much better than this, can you? Uh, so, I don't want to make you all jealous, but, you know, it's uh, it's the greatest advert for buying a boat in the world. Probably the best advert in the world. Uh, because when it's like this, nobody around, nobody's bothering each other, uh, everything's green and lush, and I believe in other parts of the country I was talking to a couple on a hire boat the other day and they were from down, I think down Bristol way and they are saying it's scorched earth down there so I think we're very fortunate up in the north that although most of our northern canals are closed due to water shortages there has probably been just enough water to make it look as lush as this uh, because it is still very green so yeah we're doing alright uh, but yeah, I can't, I can't sell it anymore. Today. Look at that! Look at that! You guys. After all this time. cruise today to one of the possibly nicest uh, moorings in the world <laughs> in the world sound like Jeremy Clarkson <laughs> but yeah anybody from up around the Trenton Mersey area will know Bramble Cutting as well I know what a lovely mooring it is and me and this other boat have just rocked up got it all to ourselves Happy days. See you soon. Senna, no, no. Senna, get out. Oh, look at her, straight paddling. Oh my Lord. No, don't go any further, you'll be in. Oh, look at the state of you. I don't think you're coming on the boat looking like that. You've got absolutely no chance. I think you are the paddling queen. 
Come on, get out. I know what you like. Yeah, yeah, this is like. It's me sitting next to wet dog all afternoon. No, she's sitting outside. Try to replace you with somebody out there. If I didn't chase you, would you even care? And if I lost my mind, would you come around? I will keep you safe and sound after all this time.